effectively uh, water is your livelihood. No, no water, no, no livelihood, no lifestyle, no nothing. So you're only there because the water's available. My name's Bill McClumfer. I'm a irrigator about to retire uh, from Redcliffe in Victoria. It's been very noticeable to me how complex water is for, for the layman to understand. Even experienced irrigators really struggle with the complexities of water. You have a discussion with, a, with an irrigator or even a water broker and you can be quite taken aback at times with their view of a particular uh, aspect of water. My name is Sarah Wheeler. I'm the Matthew Philanders Professor of Water Economics at Flinders University. A water economist does a lot of different things. So if we think about all the different kind of water areas there are, anything from groundwater to surface water, rivers, aquifers, and to seawater, marine issues. So a, a water economist in particular might do things such as um, looking at all the different values and all the different stakeholders that use water, how they use it, how do they value it. Research in water economics is highly critical. The work that myself and my team do is really focusing a lot on irrigators, their water behaviour, their participation in water markets. And we're also looking a lot at the the benefits and costs of water reform and water policy within the basin. Managing water, both for human beings and for the environment and for agriculture in general is, is, is highly critical. There's been a couple of times in the last 50 years uh, when there hasn't been enough water to meet the demand for the irrigators in the district. And the development of the water market has meant that uh, irrigators have a strategy to uh, meet that shortfall according to their circumstances. I, I was able to go into the market and buy uh, water, allocation water, uh, unfortunately at an extremely expensive price. Uh, leaving wasn't a, uh, well, wasn't, wasn't really an option and and as the, as the water market matured, uh, irrigators realised that they could devise strategies to to get, you know, to find their way through through shortages in the future. So you, we learn from our mistakes. What I would love for people to understand a bit better is that there is a whole heap of demand management approaches we can do to help share water. Water allocation is how do we divvy up water between all the different stakeholders that need it. So, you know, this includes the environment, uh, but it also includes agricultural needs, industry needs, mining needs, and human beings' needs for water. Water scarcity in Australia really does hit our rural communities very, very hard. So water allocation is a sustainable allocation of water across all these shareholders and how we manage it properly. So that's, it's obviously critical to Australia to get that right. We've got to worry about how we use it, We've got to be efficient, we've got to be equitable in how we share it out and we have to make sure that the environment also gets its fair share.